See, they eventually moved to White Cloud, but they had all the kids when they went to oh, White Cloud. I thought they were born in White Cloud. No, they were born in Wathena, and Mama's the baby. She was born in a log cabin. Is that right? That's what she told me. <laughs> but then they moved to White Cloud, and. Uh, did you know many of her brothers and sisters? Yeah, I knew all. You all that lived. Yeah, <clears throat> and many and Eva and Uncle Arch, Uncle Andy, Uncle Lloyd, Uncle Lee. See, I'm, you know. Dad was tall. That's Mama's father. And he wore his hair long. And her mother died the day I was born. And I can, the last I remember of that, he and Uncle Art had come to Troy and they were taking me back to White Cloud. And we stopped and got watermelon and a ride in a horse and buggy from Troy to White Cloud. But I remember when he died, they had, they call him, they bring him to the house and Dad was laying out, you know, how they had, they, I went in, I remember just, and was trying to pull his hand apart. So he was right there in your house? Or? In their house, in their house. where they lived there in my class. Well, where they buried him? They buried him in cemetery. But see, they don't do that. Emmeline was the only. Miss Did they, they let them bring the dead in? And you kept them in your house to the day of the funeral. So they buried him in Wapina? No, he's in White Cloud. Is his wife buried there too? I don't know. She died the day I was born, so I never knew. Your mother never went back to visit the grave No, I remember her and Aunt Eva and Aunt Minnie going to Dad's grave. Every year, Mama had John take her to walk. Oh, that's her mother. That's right, her mother. I've never gone over there before. Trying to help Mom, never did find it. That's it. Yeah, that's right. Then Dad married. Married somebody again? Yeah, she was younger than Mom. And. Oh, they get <laughs> so, Lydia and Charlotte, and you know, their parents lived in White Cloud. So, I went there to visit them. When kids hear your parents talking about someone, and Mama didn't like her, so I wasn't going to like her. But, John, she was the sweetest woman. She was fat and light complected and the kids called her Fred. Well I said, well I'm not going to like her. Oh, I must have been about 10, 11, 12. So <laughs> when I met her and she told me, you come over and give me a kiss and that warm fat lady boy i just fell in love with her right then but she was married to another man then see dad had died but she still oh. called us her grandchildren her grandfather died and she got married again oh. but she was younger than mama that's <laughs> why mama <laughs> i'd have an idea I don't know how 
much Indian dad had in him. Because one time, I think the Indians, some of them, got money from the government. Well, I know that was later. But I didn't know if he got anything while he was living. Now, Mama says that Dad was 100 when he died. When I got to be a teenager, it was black Indian and maybe one or two white. And we meet, we go out to Grant's house and she let have a man come in and he played with, they called them fiddles. And we used to dance. And that this is the woman that I said I didn't like. <laughs> But there was Les and Kate and Nellie. These are Uncle E's kids. So they all called Grand Granny too. And she let us have parties. None of your other brothers and sisters had any kids? Well, Uncle E, Uncle Louie, that's Jim's father. That's Jim and Day and Raymond and Cap. He had all boys. Irene claims to be related to us, but she was Uncle Louie's daughter. Who's Irene? Yeah, she's yeah, Jim's oldest sister. She's Irene's Perry's sister. sister. Moscow Perry's. Perry's father is her father. And uh, Aunt Minnie had a fear, and Louis and Amos, Lydia and Charlotte, and Eve didn't have any children. See, John, I was five when he died. Oh, really? And what I'm telling you is what Mama had said. And they had, what they had, 15 children, 18. So he moved to Kansas and married Mama's mother? Yeah. And her, was, what was her name? Her name, Elizabeth Harvey. Elizabeth Harvey? She was from born in Kansas? Yeah, I guess. The, there were Harveys in Troy. He went to Wapena. Mama was born in Burl. And that's just a, in Wapena. Then you go around, it's a little like settlement. It's mm -hmm. called Burl. I didn't know that. Yeah. How did your father meet your mother? Well, he met Aunt Minnie first, and Eva, and he went see and Eve and he said that mama maneuvered him. She was determined that she wanted him. But he wanted to marry Aunt Eve. I guess he learned to love her. <laughs> <laughs> Did he have hair then? Huh? Did he have hair? Yeah, but I don't ever remember seeing him with hair. But Sherman's got a picture of him with hair. Yeah? Yeah, because I said, Sherman, I can't ever remember Daddy having hair. And so he showed me a picture. But, you know, Uncle Will told me that Mama came to Troy to babysit with Aunt Cora. And said that he... Aunt Rose. Yeah, and that he was trying to go with Mama. And he used to write his letters in red. He said that that was his hard blood. Yeah, but then mom ended up married dad. Well, I guess they were living maybe with her parents when I was born. She told me the day I was born was the day they buried her mother. Because uh, we had to 
come to Troy. I start school at five. Are and you I'm the only one in your family then? Who? You were the only one in your family? Yeah. Then? You no, were... when I start school we had Bud. I remember when Bud was born. We were at a nanny's house there in Kent City. And the doctor said, what are you going to name your brother? And I said, our Charles Wilkinson Jr. Mama thought his name was Lauren till she got the birth certificate. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you think that? Well, that's what she Did must she have said. It. Oh. And the doctor put down what I you said. Because <laughs> I'm four years old. Older than so y'all were just visiting in Kansas City when you they probably just living there with Aunt Annie because Aunt Annie had two foster kids. Well, what about Genevieve and Ben? They after you and the No, the oldest girl was Genevieve, but see, she died. She was older than you. Then I was born. Then there was a boy born after me, Bud and I. He was grand. He was born see, between you and Uncle Bud? Uh -huh. So that's why it's four years between Bud and I. Because usually they're two years apart, you know, uh, our family. What did the oldest one die of? No. And then you moved to Troy. And that's where I started. Cool. And that how which did you go to that school in that house up on the hill? Really? For eight years. Me too. Is that where the Uncle Harry's wife lived there for? I mean mother lived there? His sister and sister and his mother. They all lived there. Now was that school integrated or a black school? No, it was a black school. In Kansas? You didn't, yeah. Went there eight years. Then you go to high school. Well, it was mixed. The elementary school was segregated, but the high school was mixed. <laughs> Why they do that? I don't know. But uh, Who, did you have a black teacher? Yeah. Do you remember her name? Yeah, I remember all of them. <laughs> uh, my first teacher was Lucille Wallace. She just died a year or two ago. Really? Mm -hmm. She lived here in San Diego? No, she lived in uh, Oak Mills, Kansas. Oak Mills, Kansas? Oak, Oak, oh, Oak, Oak, Oak <laughs> Mills. My next teacher. How many kids were in your first grade class, you know? Yeah, I'm following Duke and I. <laughs> <laughs> Bunker's mother? She's old as you? Oh, she's a little old. I See, they let me that. go to school at five, and they called. They didn't call it kindergarten. They called it the primer. But I took the primer and the first grade the first year. That's why I was with Duke and Fowler. Cause she took the primer, then you take the first grade. Did school last all day? Yeah. You went there at nine, you didn't get out four. <laughs> and at eight grades. Now my second teacher was Lillian Webster. Now she was married. Her husband was the brother of the Websters that lived over here. Bill Webster's father? Yeah. No, no, Bill Webster's grandfather, but I knew Bill Webster's father. Um, so, Miss Webster taught me, and she was me. In the first grade... She was me. What she do? you think she's me? But she had a bicycle tire about this long, cut, and that's what she with and she could shake too. She'd shake those big boys. <laughs> she ever with you? Yeah, for giving her daughter. <laughs> well, 
Good one, eh? Occult Center. <laughs>